Monday. And I've been having more contractions than normal this morning. Nothing nothing consistent though, so that makes it hard. The hard part is that I am a little more sensitive to when I have more contractions, just because this is my seventh child and I know things move a lot faster the more kids you have. Not always, but it's possible. And so it makes me a little bit more sensitive, where if it wasn't my seventh kid and I was just having contractions here and there, I wouldn't think anything of it. But I actually woke up again at 4.30, like I have been, because I'm just so uncomfortable at that point from laying in bed all night. Got up for a few hours and then I actually fell back to sleep and Jason's home today because of the holiday. And so he let me sleep for a couple hours. So that was good. I feel more refreshed from that. But um, I did, there's, there's a lot of things that we need done here around our house. Not everything, of course, needs to be done at the property. So I think Jason's just going to stay here and work on some projects here today, just in case my contractions do continue to pick up and turn into something. And he'll just be here and he won't have to drive 45 minutes home. Right here. I'm right here. <laughs> Is it a funny part? <coughs> Is it funny? Bella's making some Photoshop creations. No, 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 no. Mm. Do we forget no. where our chairs no. are? Are we just all too short to use them? No, you can do this. Okay. So, we're going on, getting close to lunch, and I'm still having contractions here and there, but they're just nothing to speak out of. So I'm just continuing to move on. I'm doing laundry. Jason took four of the kids to the hardware store. He's getting a new um, toilet seat because ours just completely broke. I mean, bad. The lid broke off. The One of the bolts broke. So the seat like wiggles back and forth when you're trying to sit on it. It's quite exciting to use that toilet. Anyway. Isabella and Samuel were the only two who opted to stay. Bella wanted to finish up um, getting my help on. Oh yes, put those in a bright sunny spot. Sure. Sure. Mm -hmm. She's been working on the Paw Patrol house that she's making him, and she made these little um, dishes to put dog food in for each little that's tiny dog. That's Rubbles, that's Rockies, that's Zuma's, that's Chase's, that's Sky, and that is Marshall. Excellent. So that's out of Play-Doh. She's going to dry it in the sun. So that makes little bowls. And then Each she's going to use little tools. Ryder needs food. some food. I'm going to make Ryder food. Okay, right. Because he's a guy. And then the dried lentils will be the food for everybody else. So cute. I will show you when everything's all done. But she that stayed home adorable. so that we could finish that house together and Unfortunately, Samuel wanted to stay home too, so we had to kind of sneak around him, but so he wouldn't see. But he was happy with the Play-Doh, so it worked out just fine. If Samuel sees this video, then he's gonna know. Yeah, right. He'll know after. He? he doesn't usually watch the videos though. Don't anyone show him the video? I won't show him. So I am making some lentil soup. And make a big pot so we can have some for lunch and I can stick some in the freezer. Oh, all oh. right, I made Sam was yeah. trying really hard to figure out two skates. He was doing so good on one. Hey, you made it all the way across. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Go back to the rest, Samuel. Good job, buddy. Go back to the rest. Whoa. <laughs> Laughing at 
that himself. Seba, go touch that. All right, wow! Yeah! <laughs> so close, buddy! <laughs> and some carrot muffins to go with it, which everything's taking me longer than um, normal, but that's okay. Anyway, so I'm still having like contractions frequently, so I would imagine it would turn into something at some point, I just don't know how long. But generally, once they get started on something like this, it does progress into a baby. So let's we'll see what happens. I'm gonna take a little rest while my kiddos Please, have some fun on their skates. He's got a lot of helpers, doesn't he? And I cracked them open for the squirrels. So... Oh, I'm sure they'll so be appreciative. So when the squirrels run to the country, we can have squirrels stew. All right. Because they will be all fatted right. up. <laughs> Sounds good. Sounds like a good plan. So I'm here with Pepper and... My mom is taking a walk with my sister Elsie and they are just taking a walk up and down the street for a little bit and my dad and my four brothers are actually at the store. They're doing some boy time, going grocery shopping. I'll hopefully see how that turns out and what they brought home but I just wanted to check in with you of what's going on. So it's about seven something in the evening and all day long I've had contractions. I've averaged about five contractions an hour, I think somewhere around there. And um, obviously more when I'm up and active than when I take a nap, but um, they have been, there has been strong productive contractions. So I do think this is going somewhere, but there's been a lot of you know, it's mostly contractions that I could continue on with my day through, other than I am just really tired. I got up early this morning and slept on and off, but I think I'm going to try to sleep a little more um, since I don't know if this will be a nighttime birth. I just don't, you know, it's hard to know. It's the big mystery of life. Um, I was trying to figure out something that you just can't figure out because you don't know. So... Jason is feeding the kids some dinner, and then he's going to put them to bed. And we have everything set up. He already set up um, the the birthing pool. It's inflatable. So he set that up already, um, so it's ready to go. And I have what I need. I've been just keeping my midwife updated. But at this point, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'll sleep all night and have him tomorrow or have him in the night. Who knows? Who knows? But that's where I'm at right now. I'm take a little nap and uh, see what happens. It's 11.40 and I slept for a little while but then my contractions picked up and they were getting really regular at like 10 minutes apart for, for about a minute and sharp enough that they were waking me up. So after that went on for a little bit, my I called my midwife and she's gonna, just going to come over and check things out and I don't know um, it's always tricky you just never know how quickly things will progress since your body knows what it's doing and it's done this before so
<laughs> what a reward. Miss Elsie girl was the first one up to come see mm -hmm. new baby James. Shh, shh, shh. She wouldn't have come in here if I oh, wouldn't have told her. You're so sweet. I came in here and you were sleeping. Yeah, Papa and I are tired. <laughs> I can't believe this. You know, isn't it wonderful? But look, there's yeah. a new baby at our house. Baby. You want to sit on the bed? It's yeah. baby James, Jeremiah. Baby James. Yes. Let's jump it for a little while. <gasps> Look at him. He is just beaming with smiles. Good morning, boys. We have a new brother. It's baby James. Come over and look. Let's put this up so we can see his little face. Good morning. You have a new brother, Silas. How did you sleep? I'm surprised he's not awake. I know. Uh, you know what a baby lover Jeremiah is. He just hasn't stopped smiling. Look at his face. Aw, oh, you love it on Samuel. Now, baby James and Samuel are birthday buddies. <gasps> Your birthday is in just a couple days, and baby James' birthday was today. They start sliding. You're such a good big brother, and now baby James gets to experience that. Biggest brother and littlest brother. <laughs> Jeremiah's right. like, give me no, another no, turn. No, no, no. You want another turn, don't you? I want another hand. <laughs> Aww. I want to. Ah, yeah. Oh, it's time to go. It's time to go. Look at his little feet. Jeremiah's yes. getting yes. the kick out of this. <laughs> Good night. Everybody wants to witness the first diaper changing. This is exciting stuff right here, isn't it, guys? No, it isn't. <laughs> Not really. Silas doesn't care. <laughs> That's true. Whoa. Whoa. Sam will try to find the bed. He can't open his own. What do I like? Look at my baby. Up like this. His name is James. He's so this. sweet. My baby's stop. name is James, too. Up like this. Or do you want me to so turn down? Oh, look at him. He's opening his eyes. He's learning to walk. Oh. A couple steps. So sweet. He's so sweet. He's trying to bite me, Papa. Mom, he's hungry. He's yep. trying to bite me. Oh, good. He was going for me. He got my finger. He my hand, got my it. Face, he came over. Aww. Got my finger. He squeezed with all his precious my. You are a sweetheart. Samuel. Thank you for Don't sleeping through the night. Quiet. Mm -hmm. Samuel. For the rest of the morning. <laughs> There he is, Mr. James Daniel. So it's, I don't know what time it is. It's 11, and I've actually been sleeping on and off all morning. So I'm just here in bed in my jammies, and I, oh, he does have a poopy. He a diaper. I plan to be here all day, so. Poopy oh, poopy thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'm getting all kinds of spoiled here. Jason's been holding down the fort. The kids were so good this morning. They just. I want to go get my little toast. Okay, that sounds good. They, um, Bella put out some easy breakfast. What? No, I want it right there. What about this? You guys are talkative. You want this? Yes, I want all of this to stay here. Oh, I see you again. Thank you, sweetie. You can bring your lentils up if you want to. What about this plate there? Yeah, plate. 
plate can go. You are just wonderful, and so can the cup. Okay. Thank you so much. What about the charger? The straw. I keep the straw. Yeah, maybe I'll keep the straw. Okay. Yeah. Charger. Uh, well, I'll keep no, all that because here. probably Papa's gonna put a straw in. Well, I'll just. Tell That's you okay. You don't That's my water straw. Um, Isabella set out some. Left. I had made put muffins in the freezer, so they put that out this morning, and turned on Winnie the Pooh so that um, Jason could sleep till almost nine because he really needed it. He put him, didn't really sleep last night a whole lot, and I slept on and off too. I'm having a lot of cramping, you know, so I makes it a little trickier. But um, I've pretty much stayed laying down, snuggled in bed. So. Let's change this poopy again. Oh boy. This is amazing. While I was upstairs sleeping. Oh, he's got mud on his pants, Jason. Oh, yeah. He sat down there. Jason took four of the kids to the property to feed the animals. And Isabella and Samuel cleaned this house and loaded the dishwasher. Amazing. And we are getting a yummy dinner tonight from our friend Stephanie. She brought over. A delicious meal. Hi, buddy. You like holding him. Can I hold him now? Your birthday, buddy. We're gonna eat. We're gonna eat so we get to sit at the table. Uh, my friend Gina brought her kids over to meet him, and I had an appointment with the midwife that went really well. And um, and I just took a little minute while they cleaned. So it's been great. So good. So let's go eat now. I'm downstairs for the first time this I'm afternoon ready. was the first time I came down. I've just been up in bed, but you know, you miss your family, so I came down to sit at the table and see how it goes for dinner. It is, uh, it's Thursday, and I'm back in bed. It's just, um, I was reflecting this morning on how hard it is to feel like yourself again after you have a baby and how I think that there is a push among my generation to not really allow yourself that time of rest and grace that I've noticed people just feeling like they need to get right back to their normal activity and I just know that if I do that, um, it's going to make it even longer before I feel like myself again. So while I have this time that Jason is able to take a few days um, at home, mostly at home, he's had a few phone appointments and things, but I'm really trying to take advantage of this time because i found that when I even leave my room, um, I immediately start seeing needs and responding to needs. It's just part of what's built into me as a mom, and it's really hard to not do that. And then I get really worn out, and I start having more cramping and all of those things. So while I am privileged to have this time, I'm just taking it. I just need to stay put. And... And, and heal faster because of it. So, oh, I'm just spending some time finishing up my Bible study, even though I'm not going to class on Friday. I'm just finishing it up and just listening to some worship music and, and just taking this time to rest. Um, I've got this sinus infection thing on top of it. I don't know. It just popped up, too. So I'm a little stuffy up there, but... Uh, Little Mr. James, he decided last night that it was time to wake up and say hello to Mama. So he he's snuggling next to me now, but last night it was just wanting to nurse all night long. Up, down, up, down, go to sleep for a little bit, back up. Pacifier did help a bit. He seems to like that okay, so we use that part of the time. So, um, I have exciting news that I can ride a bike with no training wheels, just two wheels. 
been already two years. Like four years or five. Wow. Or six. Yeah, six years because I'm six. Wow. Well, five years because I I can. We know. Yeah, six. Years. That's so cool. So mommy's been upstairs working on videos and everybody's playing outside. Oh, except Sam, who just picked me some flowers. Thank you, sweetie. They have to help me. Thank you. They're beautiful. That will oh, all of them. They will only three. They're so pretty. I should do more. Elsie said Papa's cleaning in the garage. Yeah. Stuff to give away and stuff to fix <laughs> my butt. That's what Mommy did for months while I waited for the baby to come. What? It only taking my turn and wheel. Oh, is she really? Yeah, because on the scooter, on the... He's got the scoot bike. Scoot bike, he yeah. can ride from the tire to the slide. That's the tire's, the like, close to the stairs. Hasn't the it been fun? The tire to the slide. And that, and pop well, it, a tired bike, a tired boot bike. No, it isn't Well, you know what, tomorrow scooter. you're four years old, so that yeah. sounds pretty great. Isn't Sasha a scoot bike? Hey, guys, it's hasn't bad. it been fun? While mommy's been resting for a couple days, papa's been home. Hasn't that been really fun? Yes, because after I so have long this. of him being gone so much, now you get a lot of him. There you go. So are you excited yes. about tomorrow? I'm seeing Where did how you go? Long I can do it. Okay. Well, hey, are you excited about oh, tomorrow? Well, what yes. happens tomorrow? My feet are really cold. I'm what sorry. happens tomorrow? Somebody my has birthday. a birthday. <gasps> Yeah, this one. 
it. It doesn't fit me. Peekaboo. Okay, I can love it. Did your buddy get you this? It's a laser horn. <laughs> I know. Yeah. I could, I could um, put the batteries in if you want. It's really, it's not hard to get in. See? <laughs> it's working on it, isn't it? <laughs> batteries go out. Two batteries. It's the weekend and I feel so much better. I am so pleased. <laughs> really, the first several days were so hard for me. Just a lot of cramping. Mostly just stayed in bed. Um, I think it's all really normal for um, having more babies. And I just really took that time. Jason was so good about taking care of everything and everybody with just joy. And I'm so blessed to have him here. Um, but I am starting to feel like myself again. So praise the Lord. <laughs> Little James is five days old today, and he's wonderful. It took me actually a couple days to realize in my mind, I'm not pregnant. I really do have this sweet baby. It's really real. It's not a dream. I don't know. It just seemed so surreal for some reason. And maybe it's because I was really going strong all the way to the end of pregnancy. I didn't feel like, you know, I, I'm so done being pregnant. When is this baby going to come? I, I wasn't, you know, at that point, I was just busy with all the other things going on in my life. So, to have him here, sleeping next to me right now, um, it's just, I keep going over and over again in my mind of what a miracle it is. God is so amazing to faithfully create these beautiful little human beings and place them into our families and into our care and entrust us with them. When we are such imperfect people ourselves, I just can't quite get over the gift of it all, and I'm thankful for it. So I am looking forward to um, just continuing to get back into the swing of things. I think Jason's going to just do um, some half days at work um, at the beginning of this week and we'll see how it goes but you know my love is being mommy and doing all those mommy things so I'm very eager to get back into that role as soon as possible. Mm -hmm.